Hey YouTube, it's Zion Prepper, and I'm going to do a video on the second most common question I'm asked is, what does H5N1 do to the body? You know, what what's happening once you've contracted it? And let's start with the fact that in 1918, the influenza pandemic infected one third of the world's population, and it killed at least 50 million people. So a third of the world's population, 50 million people. Move forward to 2009, where swine flu killed more than 18,000 people, and that's according to the World Health Organization, or WHO. And they didn't die in vain. Yes, it's very unfortunate, but because of those deaths, scientists had a, now have a better understanding of what exactly is happening once you're infected with bird flu or H5N1, avian uh, bird flu, all the same words. Now... What we're seeing is basically that the, the swine flu is destroying the host. You are the host. And what it is doing is destroying you by using your own defense mechanisms in, inside your body to fight the virus. So when your body is invaded by you know a virus or something that, that, that is not part of the system, it sends off an alarm and your body sends the troops out to try and destroy the, the invader. Well, while it's trying to destroy the flu-infected cells, in this case we're talking uh, flu-infected cells, your immune system also destroys perfectly healthy cells all over your body. And so, th in other words, you know, imagine a battle. You know, you you've got you know ten enemies that you need to take care of, but you send ten thousand people against them. That's what's happening in your body. Your body's overreacting. So every time you get the flu, right, you get a fever, pains, upset stomach, which is the immune system response we just discussed. And they have a name for this, and you don't have to remember it, but it's kind of interesting, the theory. It's called cytokine storm. And if if your people are out there like me, a cytokine is a molecule that immune cells use to send be, uh, signals between one another. So basically it's a, it's a communication between immune cells. They talk to each other through this. And what you see is these cytokines typically fight off infections by telling the immune system which viral cells to attack. In other words, they're specifically saying, I want you to go after A. And then they'll come back and say, I want you to go after B. So they're giving specific directions. But when there's an overabundance of these cytokines flooding into the body, it causes a storm. And that's why they call it a cytokine storm. And when you combine those storms, you know, all those troops in your body with lung damage from the bird flu, that leads to pneumonia. Now, I did a video two, three days ago on a, gen a Chinese citizen who was positive for H5N1 and died. And he died of pneumonia. So all, putting all this data together, he had a cytokine storm. It, it probably, you know, as we said, he probably had lung damage and led to pneumonia. Very, very interesting. Now, here's the interesting thing you can look at is right now, today, they give you antiviral drugs to fight H5N1, H1N1. These antiviral drugs make make the bird flu drug resistance. In other words, you know, it may work on you this time, but next time you get it, it may not work. And, and certain people are just, these drugs don't work at all. So it's going to be interesting to see if they come up with these uh, cytokine blocking agents. In other words, it would be a new therapy where... Doctors actually give you a cytokine blocking agent of some type to prevent uh, this cytokine storm. So, big word, but it's just a lot of troops out there uh, that don't need to be out there killing all your good cells. So, that's typically what can happen. It doesn't happen in everybody that way, but it's just one way that it can happen. Sign Prepper saying, hope that made sense. Thank you.